2020 has been a year full of challenges due to global health problems. However, despite the global health problems, the Philippine Air Force PAF, is soaring to even higher heights and is expected to further enhance its ability to protect the country from all forms of security threats and assist Filipinos in times of disaster with more than a dozen arrivals modern planes and helicopters of the year. First on the PAF's list for this year is the arrival and commissioning of the new Gulfstream G-280 Command and Control C-2 aircraft, arriving on September 20. It was commissioned the following day and was used to transport personal protective equipment and other medical supplies to Davao City during its maiden flight. The C-2 aircraft will be part of a system designed to improve operating control through continuous communication, particularly during operational emergencies and emergencies. This will allow time-sensitive decision-making to be made while in the air particularly by the AFP chain of command, such as the Minister of National Defense, Chief of Staff, AFP, Main Service Commander, and the Commander of the Unified Command, PAF spokesman Lt. Col. Aristides Galling said in a recent interview. The Gulfstream G-280 is capable of reaching speeds of around 500 knots and has a range of 3,600 nautical miles. The aircraft can carry 12 to 15 people, including the pilot and crew, and land on small runways. The contract for the G-280 was signed in early 2019 and secured through U.S. foreign military sales. Second on the list is the commissioning of six air support aircraft near the Embraer Defense and Security A-29B, Super Tucano, on 14 October. Four of the A-29B's close support attack aircraft arrived on 19 September while the remaining two arrived on 1 October. Defense Minister Delphine Lorenzana, during the commissioning ceremony of six Super Tucano attack aircraft, said these planes were a reminder of the urgency of air power in national defense and security. Embraer company pilots fly planes from the company's airfield in Sao Paulo, Brazil and stop refueling in the Canary Islands, Portugal, Malta, Egypt, Bangladesh, United Arab Emirates, India, Thailand and Vietnam before landing in the Philippines. The A-29B aircraft were previously slated for delivery in late July, but the pandemic and subsequent travel bans changed the delivery schedule. The aircraft, which will form part of the PAF's 15th Strike Wing, will populate the remainder of the SF-260 and OV-10 attack aircraft used by the Air Force in attack missions. The Super Tucano is a turboprop aircraft designed for light attack, counterinsurgency, close air support, aerial reconnaissance missions in low-threat environments, as well as providing pilot training. The contracts for the six aircraft are worth 4.97 billion Philippine pesos and were issued in late 2017. Earlier this month, the Ministry of National Defense DND, held ceremonies for the arrival and commissioning of six of the 16S-70I, Black Hawk, combat utility helicopters ordered from Polish company Polski Zaklady Lotnis SP, Z, O, O, and produced under license from Sikorsky USA for US$241 million, United States dollars, approximately US$11.5 billion Philippine pesos. The helicopters were obtained through an intergovernmental transaction with Poland. Negotiations are completed in 2019. The acquisition of the Black Hawk combat utility helicopter is part of the Horizon 2 of the AFP modernization program. Designated as an intermediate transport helicopter, the Black Hawk is capable of flying at a speed of 224 miles per hour, 361 kilometers per hour, and has a range of 290 miles, 460 kilometers. The first five S-70s were delivered via heavy cargo Antonov and 124 to Clark Air Base on November 9, while the sixth unit arrived on board on November 27. The remaining 10 will be shipped next year. The helicopter is capable of transporting cargo and personnel, medical evacuation, casualty evacuation, aerial reconnaissance, disaster relief operations, troop insertion and release, combat supplies, combat search and rescue, and limited close air support.